Hi everyone, it's Miss Cable from Malmesbury Maths. In the last video, we were looking at finding the value of angles around transverses on parallel lines. At the end of the video, I said that I would do another couple of videos explaining what we call these relationships and the different names for them. In this video, we are going to be looking at corresponding angles. What corresponding angles are, are angles that are on the same side of the transversal and in corresponding positions on the line. So we're going to take a look and see what that means. I've drawn a few examples of corresponding angles on the board, so let's go through these examples and go through that definition. So looking at this example here, I'm looking for two angles that are on the same side of the transversal. I can see that both of these are on the right hand side and in corresponding positions. So they are both above the line. So that corresponding means that they're sort of in the same position. Can you see here, this one's in the top right and here, this one is also in the top right. Looking over here, again, I've got two angles that are on the same side of the transversal and in corresponding positions. They're both above the lines. Finally, this last one, here's my transversal, both on the same side and in corresponding positions, so they're both below. In this video, we're going to focus specifically on corresponding angles in parallel lines. So I've drawn a pair of parallel lines on the board and a transversal cutting through both of them. I've drawn in two corresponding angles. You can see they're the same side of the transversal and in corresponding positions. From the last video, we know that these are equal because I've got a piece of paper here. Again, picture this sliding down the transversal. As these two lines are parallel, they match up exactly. That is true for all parallel lines, transversals on parallel lines. So corresponding angles on parallel lines are equal. I've drawn a few different examples on the board. Remember in this video, we are looking specifically for equal corresponding angles. That means corresponding angles on parallel lines. So I'm going to go through each of these and see if they are equal corresponding angles. Looking at this first one then, I can see that they're corresponding because they're on the same side of the transversal in corresponding positions. They're both underneath the lines. They are not equal corresponding angles because these two lines are not parallel. So they are corresponding, but not equal. Over here, first check if they're corresponding. They're on the same side of the transversal and in corresponding positions. So they are corresponding. And because they're on parallel lines, they are going to be equal. Picture this shifting along here that line will stay the same. This one down here, they're on parallel lines, however, they are not corresponding angles. They are on the same side of the transversal, but they are not in corresponding positions. This one is below this line, and this one is above this line. And the last example then, I've got two different transversals. They are both on the top right-hand side, so they're both on um, in corresponding positions. However, they are on different transversals, so they are not corresponding angles. Corresponding angles must be on the same transversal, so these are not equal corresponding angles. A way some people like to remember corresponding angles is by thinking of an F shape. So, for example, if you look at this one here, you can see that the angles, when you draw them in, creates an F. It might not always look as much like an F as this does. Sometimes it's rotated, so see here, and it might be flipped as well. But if that helps you remember it, then you can always try and picture an F and that will be a corresponding, those will be corresponding angles. Okay, so you're ready for question one of the worksheet. So for each of the diagrams, can you write underneath whether they are corresponding or not corresponding? Can you make sure you're using that word corresponding, not just writing yes or no? The questions are on the screen, so if you want to pause the video and have a go at those. Okay, and here are the answers. I've decided to quickly go through G. So you can see that I've got two angles, both on like the bottom right-hand side. So although they look like they're corresponding, they're not on the same transversal. You can see that these lines aren't actually even transversals because they're only intersecting one other line. So those are not corresponding angles. 
We are going to move on to some slightly different questions now. So now, given an angle, I want to find the corresponding angle. So I'm given this angle here, and I want to find its corresponding position over here. So think about it, picture these angles sliding along, and I want the angle that's on the same side of this transversal, so it's underneath, and in corresponding positions. So that is going to be this angle here. Now looking at a slightly harder example, if I've got this angle here and I want to find its corresponding angle on the diagram, I've got my parallel lines and this is the transversal that is cutting across both of them. So I'm going to picture this sliding down to the other parallel line. I want it on the same side of the transversal, so this side of the transversal, and to the right hand side of the other parallel line. I can see that this angle here has actually been split in two by this line. That doesn't matter. I can just say that this whole thing here, so this whole angle here, this angle plus this angle, is corresponding to this angle up here. Okay, you're now ready for question two. So if you'd like to go onto your worksheets and mark in all of the corresponding angles to the angle you're given, if you'd like to pause this video and have a go. Here are the answers, if you could mark the ones that you've done. Remember, if you've got any wrong, going through and trying to see where you made any mistakes. So we're going to do something a bit different now, and that is given some angles, we are going to try and see if we can tell where the lines are parallel. Remember, what is special about corresponding angles on parallel lines is that they are equal. Looking at this on the board then, I've drawn in some different corresponding angles. You can see that these angles are all corresponding, as they are on the same side of the same transversal in corresponding positions. Same for these three down here. This is the transversal, they are all on the same side of the transversal and in corresponding positions. Same for these two, they are on the same transversal, same side of the transversal in corresponding positions, same here and same again for these two over here. Focus in specifically on these two angles here, I can see that they are different. 108 is not the same as 106. That means that these two lines cannot be parallel. If these two lines were parallel, you can picture this shifting down and being the exact same angle as this one down here. Same for these two here. I know already know that these lines aren't parallel, but these two are different. And same again here, 108 is not the same as 150, so these two lines are not parallel. Now let's focus on these three lines here and see if any of those ones are parallel. So, from here to here, I've got two corresponding angles and they are both the same. That means that when I shifted this angle along, this line must be going in the same direction. So these two lines are going to be parallel. Now, I just need to see whether this one is also parallel. If it is parallel to this one, then because these two are parallel, it will also be parallel to this one. If it is not parallel to this one, then because these are parallel, it won't be parallel to this one here. So let's just focus on these two here. 106 and 108, those two are my corresponding angles. They are not the same, so therefore these two lines are not parallel. Finally then, if you'd like to have a go at question three, could you mark on any pairs or more of parallel lines on these diagrams? It's important to note that even though lines may look parallel, they may not actually be parallel. For each question, can you write a brief explanation on why they are parallel or why they are not parallel or why you can't be sure if they are parallel or not? Okay, here are the answers. Can you mark the ones that you've done? I'm going to go through a couple of examples. I've chosen question six and question eight. So first of all, looking at question six then. I'm not actually given corresponding angles in question six. They're on the same side of the transversal, however, they're not in corresponding positions. However, this angle here does correspond to this angle here. And I know I can work out this angle here as angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. That means this angle here is going to be 180 
take away that 95. which equals 85. As this angle here is 85 degrees, I can see that that is the same as this corresponding angle here. As they are the same, these lines must be parallel. Now going through question eight, I actually find eight really, really interesting. So looking at it, it looks as though these lines are parallel and it looks as though these lines are parallel here and I've got two equal angles. But you can see that the angles are actually on different transversals. If the lines are parallel, it does work because that means this angle corresponds to this one down here, which would be 97, which in turn corresponds to this one here, if, all of, if these two lines are parallel as well. And this one corresponds to this one down here. And then I've got a parallelogram in the middle. That does work. However, because I'm not actually given this angle up here or this angle down here, I can't be sure that they are parallel because they are on different transversals. So for this one, you cannot actually tell whether they are parallel or whether they are not parallel. Okay, that is the end of this video on corresponding angles. Thank you for watching.